It appeared to be a moment of triumph in the long, tumultuous story of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. In November, a federal judge sided with the HFPA, the tiny, 87-member group of international journalists that doles out the annual Golden Globe Awards, in dismissing a potentially damaging antitrust lawsuit. The suit was filed three months earlier by a Norwegian entertainment journalist who had been denied membership in the group. It had drawn widespread attention in Hollywood, where the HFPA wields outsized power as the arbiter of one of the entertainment industry's most important, if often mocked, awards. And to the HFPA, it represented a direct threat to that power. In her suit, Kirstie Flaw accused the HFPA of institutionalizing a culture of corruption, claiming the tax-exempt organization operated as a kind of cartel, barring qualified applicants, including herself, and monopolizing all important press access while improperly subsidizing its members' income. The group, Flaw asserted, was rife with ethical conflicts, with members accepting thousands of dollars in emoluments from the very same studios, networks and celebrities they conferred trophies upon, all of it hidden behind a code of silence. Following the judge's dismissal, partly on the grounds that Flaw didn't suffer economic or professional hardship as a result of her exclusion from the association, HFPA attorney Marvin Putnam of Latham & Watkins said the group had been vindicated, calling the suit nothing more than a transparent attempt to shake down the HFPA based on jealousy, not merit. Within the HFPA, however, Flaw's suit had struck a nerve with some members who had hoped it might force the organization to make what they see as long overdue changes. The dismissal was disappointing, said one current HFPA member, who like many quoted in this article declined to be identified out of fear of retaliation from others in the group. I thought it would shake things up. We are an archaic organization. I still think the HFPA needs outside pressure to change. Over its nearly eight-decade history, the HFPA has weathered a string of embarrassing scandals, lawsuits and often blistering criticism of its membership. The group has been the butt of jokes even from the stage of its own awards show. Hosting in 2016, Ricky Gervais dismissed the Globes as worthless, calling the award a bit of metal that some nice old confused journalists wanted to give you in person so they could meet you and have a selfie with you. In a 2014 interview, actor Gary Oldman said the group was 90 nobodies having a wank and called for a boycott of the silly game their awards represent. Yet despite all this, the HFPA has managed to carve out a unique and improbable position of influence.